Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and we're back with the weekly roundup. If you haven't seen the weekly roundup before, basically we take five of the hottest new bits of gear in, talk about them, and show them off a little bit. So, first up, we've got a guitar right next to you. Here is a brand new Maton ER90 traditional model in. Now, what's really cool with this is it's slightly bigger than the standard EBG808 that the Maton are really well known for, but it's also got rosewood back inside, so very different from the standard sort of Queensland maple or the blackwood they tend to favour, along with a Sitka spruce top as well. This is a really nice sounding and nice looking guitar. <laughs> Okay, that's not the only Maton we've got in this weekly roundup. We've also got a very cute looking pre-owned EML6 Mini Maton. Now this one is 12 years old, it's from 2012, just in case you weren't sure. This is a tiny little guitar, you've got it's really cool truss rod adjustment there. It's got a killer AP4 pickup in there too. It's really nice, it's not like the modern one, this is literally just an under saddle pickup but it still sounds killer. <laughs> Alright, next up, another pre-owned gem. In fact, we've got a few pre-owned ones in this weekly roundup. Here we have a 2013, this is a HSS Select Strat. As you probably guessed already, this has got a gorgeous flame top to it. And I believe, what wood is the back, uh, the back on this one? It's an older body on this. It's a really nice looking piece of wood actually. You don't tend to see that sort of grain on an older body. Typically, you'd, you know, that's sort of reserved for ash. Now, one of the big selling points of these guitars Aside from the compound radius fretboard, what is really interesting with the fretboard is it's channel bound. So it's a maple neck that they've literally inlaid the rosewood fretboard into. I mean, I wouldn't even know how to start even thinking about doing that. So some really clever stuff from Fender. It's got a killer sounding pickup on there. In fact, all the pickups are good, but I really especially like that bridge humbucker. <laughs> Okay, let's head on through to the posh room. We've got some other pre-owned bits in here. All right, so first up, hmm, let's go for the Billy Morrison model first. Now, I wasn't actually sure who Billy Morrison was when this guitar turned up, I must confess. I found out he's actually Billy Idol's guitarist, and this is a very cool guitar indeed. Unfortunately, it has suffered a, set, uh, a neck break on there, but it's been done by our local guy, Joe White, years ago. We, we didn't have it done, the, the previous owner did. And Joe has done an incredible job getting that thing fixed up. He does some top-notch work. Aside from that, the guitar is in killer condition. A few very light bits of lacquer checking, but the frets on it have got loads of life in them. They look really vibrant and new still. This is a very cool, nice sounding guitar, and those Seymour Duncan pickups are incredible too. Let's check out the final guitar in this weekly roundup, this one right next to me here. In fact, actually, before I grab this one up, 
Let's just take a sec to look at all three of these. I mean, on the left there, we've got a 345 in a lovely sunburst finish. In the middle, a, uh, a 63 reissue 325 VOS. But this is the guitar I wanted to show off. This is a 1996 ES335 dot reissue in the antique natural finish. And what I love about this one is how nicely figured the maple is on it. Look at that. Something that I really like about 335s as well is the difference in color between the mahogany neck and the maple body. I don't know why, but it just looks really nice to me. I love that separation there. And what's really cool as well is, I don't know how well this will show up on the cameras, but you can see how yellow the binding's gone on there, or at least the lacquer on top of the binding's gone. And it just sort of blends in really nicely with the rest of the finish. It's got a little bit of tarnishing on some of the hardware. However, I think this really adds to it, giving it its own sort of VOS treatment. Let's plug this thing in and see how it sounds. Okay, well, that's it from the weekly roundup. I'm Sam Cody. As always, thanks for watching, and if you want to find out any more about the guitar shown in today's video, the links will be in the description below.